Hey, what's happening? On my way to the airport. Yesterday, I got up rather early, went to the dentist, had a root canal, and spent most of my day packing and wrapping up last minute odds and ends for the week. Now I'm on my way to the airport after a night of club gigging, on my way to New York City. All right, here we are. We're in town, uh, heading over the bridge, getting ready to go into Manhattan. Here we are, we're on the island. I'm not sure where the hell we are. Uh, we're around East 97th Street. This is uh, kind of the tail end of El Barrio, or East Harlem. Whenever there's an extra P and an E on the end of shop, it's three times more expensive. Don't shop there. Okay, this is Central Park West. This is where the Dakota is, where Yoko Ono lives. Uh, we've got uh, luxury apartments on the right, Central Park on the left. All kinds of stuff going on here. Okay, so we're here. This is my room. I'm on the, the Upper West Side. It's like kind of the Sex in the City neighborhood. Uh, now, this is my room. Don't laugh. It's affordable. It's in a good neighborhood. So, yeah, there you go. And if you're really careful, you can turn around. My room's shit, but it's a cool building. And look at the neighborhood. It's absolutely beautiful, brownstones and such. So here, all I gotta do is walk two blocks this way, and I'm at one of the oldest uh, train stations in town, the 72nd Street Station. Check it out. All right, here's the 72nd Street Station. They don't got too many of these left. There's one in uh, Battery Park and this one. I don't know of any more, but this is one of the old ones. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Metro Transit Authority. This is the subway. There's one going right now, going uptown. I'm going downtown, though. It's one of the nicer looking stations I'd see. We'll see some other ones later on that uh, they tend to get quite funky. All right, kids. This is Chinatown. Now, you're going to notice stores over here have t-shirts, knockoff purses, watches, sunglasses, cologne. There are several blocks of stores just like the ones I'm showing you, and they all sell the same shit. But it's fun. You can haggle with them and, and try to get good deals. This is our store right here. Canal Hi-Fi right in the heart of Chinatown. So we're going to be having our event tonight. We're setting up inside. Let's go inside and take a look. Hey, Chris, I wish you every Monday you come in here and do that. That's good. No problem. Okay, we're inside the store. The boys are setting up. We've got the reps here from, from the, the local reps hanging out. Yeah. Tell, tell them your name. Hey, I'm Scott. I'm from hey, New Jersey. Local you, rep for American DJ. Right on. And you take care of New Jersey, New York. Is it a tri-state area you guys work tri with? Tri-state area, yep. Me, me and Chris take care of the New York area. And Chris up here, he's, he's doing lights. Hey, what's happening? And we got all kinds of gear in this store. There's, there's stuff that, you know, say hi. Hey, what's up, man? What's going on? Am I going to be on YouTube? Yeah, you are. All right. Say, Peace. Say what, there, you, there you go. New York in the house. Yeah. Show, sharing the love. Hey, Chris. They let the Midwestern guy come and hang. That was nice of him. So I found some stuff that I got to have since we're here. Um, remember we were talking about one of these? We're going to see if these nice people at Canal Hi-Fi will uh, sell me one of these at, a, at a, a, a price that I can dig. This is the first guy that came to see me. met me outside and said, Brian Red, tell him who you are, what you do, and where you're from, and all that kind of neat stuff. How you doing? I'm Kevin from here in Queens, New York, and I'm a mobile DJ, and I'm presently working with some hand-me-down stuff, so I'm here to check out Canal Hi-Fi in the city and see if I can get some replacement stuff. Now, you told me that you are a country DJ in Queens, New York. Yes, I am. And not only that, but you do country line dancing DJing. Or yes, and that, that's pretty much our little hook. You know, everybody gets the little DJ thing, and uh, everybody knows the electric slide, but not everybody knows the boot scoop. So we get people up, and uh, as part of the dance motivation, we get to do that as well. Right on. I'm curious. When you're a DJ in a place like New York City, how easy is it to get around from one gig to the next? Depends. I mean, we got, you got to rent the van depending on the size of the venue, and then you got to find parking when you get there because not every venue has a parking lot, and you can attest to that. And yeah. 
we, we've been lucky in the city. We don't have to carry too many items upstairs. Right. But we actually get elevators on uh, on occasion. But you know, it's usually pack and play, so we've been lucky. Wow. Yeah, I can't imagine that. I see people just trying to, I mean, on a Friday night in Manhattan, I'll see people with guitars and amplifiers and all kinds of stuff with on big hand carts getting on the subways. And I'm thinking to myself, are mobile DJs doing this too? Not that I know of. Not most just either rent a car or do car service because we got uh, gypsy Oh, you can do car service too. Yeah, I never even well. thought of that. Yeah, I mean, the, every other corner has uh, one version of a gypsy cab or another. Yeah, so. <laughs> I suppose so. And you just build your system small enough where it'll break down and fit to in, yeah. into whatever kind of vehicle we, you end up with. We're, we're a small uh, group. Sounds like fun. We just do small venues and uh, you know graduations, parties, that kind of good stuff. Right on. Well, they're not gonna let us talk anymore. We'll talk later. All right, good scene. Thank you. All right, bye. Okay, here we are, giving you a little New York feel in Chinatown, with our guy from Brooklyn. Tell us who you are where you're from and what you do. DJ Steve, born and raised in Brooklyn, New York, Bay Ridge. Moved to a suburb of Westchester, so now we do parties in and about around New York City. Weddings, bar mitzvahs, sweet 16s. Used to do a little club work, hit the clubs down here in NYC, but you know, married with children now, so now we come down and get the New York City feel once in a while. You know? Right on. Now, here, a couple things after what you've just told me. Give these people a point of reference as to where you're from in Brooklyn. I'm from an Italian section, Russian section of Brooklyn, Bay Ridge. Borders on Fort Hamilton and the Verrazano Bridge. You guys ever see Saturday Night Fever? That's what I was that waiting bridge, for you to yes. say. Yeah. The infamous. What else is famous down there? Um, you got the um, Brooklyn Bridge, but that's on the other side, not so much next to Bay Ridge. Right. But Bay Ridge is what I was talking about. Yeah, Bay Ridge. Nice section, 86th Street. We used to cruise in 86, 87, freestyle, dance music. Dance music very big in New York City. Listen to Pulse 87 online. If you, if you want dance music that's from New York, that's a oh, new is, station. Is that the station? 87.7. Low on the dial. But that's it's good information because I yes. didn't know where to go. You go Pulse 87. If you want to hear a New York DJ and the music we're playing here, they have like little freestyle sets and house and trance. It's pretty good. Jonathan Peters does a mix show. So Right on, man. So tell me this. I'm real curious. So we got all the, the traffic. and I mean, this is like... Canal this, Street on yeah. its best. <laughs> yeah, th this is not a stage. This is the Wait, real let's, deal. Let's give him a P. Right. And an E, practice and enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's a new group dance. Yeah, there you go. There you go. I think you're on to something. Jonathan's going to take that and run with it. Yeah. You know he will, too. I'm curious, as a New York DJ, when you were doing a lot of work here, how in the hell are you getting around town? Well, you know, we, I've done parties in Chinatown. I've done them in Times Square. You're double parked on a busy intersection. You got to have at least two. Minim you want to have three. You gotta okay. Have two guys. One guy's constantly watching the car. You're either shuffling in a storage exit or a remote exit up an elevator and stairs, but very <laughs> hectic, got to charge extra. Well, right. Well, very extra. So There's, you do put a surcharge on just yeah, the load in and all that kind of first, neat stuff. First thing when I'm booking, you know, where's the location? If it's in Manhattan, in my head, I'm already adding 100. For right. my time, now gas especially, tolls. Right. I know one freeway into Manhattan over the Third Avenue Bridge, you know, down the FDR, but usually you're paying for your time and your parking and, you know, uh -huh. it's always extra time and energy coming down here. No, and I, I just, I'm so curious. When you do gigs in Manhattan, what kind of vehicle are you bringing in with you? I have a Honda Pilot, actually. Um, okay, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's maneuverable. I have the windows tinted out. I didn't drive it today. I took the train in, but for a gig, that's what I use. Low key, you know, I don't want to, I'm not, no DJ Steve on the side, you know. <laughs> target, target, but, you know, I try to keep it cool and real with that, you know, so. Well, that's cool. I'm that's actually doing a party on 109th Street on July 7th on Terrace on the Park. It's actually on the top of a building. Oh, wow. By, by Harlem. So that's a pretty, I already, I've never been there, so I had to call the facility. Elevator up and all that stuff. Well, but. can you do us a favor? Can you shoot some of that for us? You guys want to see that? Yeah, can you do it to a response to this video? Yes, I'll do a response. That would be really cool. I'll show cool. you that gig. I will. Well, tell the people back home the magic words from New York City. Practice and enjoy. New York style, baby.